the request for the night is a story about stale bread. There's this guy called Craig and he went into a shop, shop, shop in the corner and he went in and um, he was looking at the, the bread, sweat and rolls, cereal, milk. <clears throat> he checks the date of the milk. Run, it's out of date that day and the next cut and the next. He looks at the cereal. He checks the lid of the cereal box and it isn't pure stuck down. You can just go like that and open it. That's a true story, by the way. That's the shop across the road. Any box of cereal I get, you know, I want to support. I want to support my local fucking shopkeeper. You know, like I could order stuff online for fucking Amazon. I could go to a supermarket, which I do anyway. But you know, the guy with a fucking shop, why give him? You know, to keep his fucking business going for him and his fucking family. But I went in there for fucking tin tomatoes the other day. Tinned tomatoes. And they were fucking out of date. By two months. So was the next can. And so was the next can. And see any cereal that I fucking get. See any fucking cereal that I get for that shop. Every fucking one. I look at the date. And it's got about two months left in it, right? Cereal, I, I, I bought cereal online and it's like fucking, it runs out, it's out of date in about a year and a half, right? See the cereal I get across the fucking road? It's out of date in about two months. But then see when I get it back, see when I get it back in the house and I open up, you know, you put your finger in the top and you, like that, it just goes... Hey, this is this is true. It just just it just gently just gently pops open, and see the bag inside. See when you you kind of crush the bag. It's always let always lets the air out. Always lets the air out. I think they go to a place where you can get stuff that's. I bet I bet there's a section stuff is about to go out of date, and he's like, "Ah, oh, fuck it, fuck it." They can't all those, and it's cheaper. Well, that's fair enough, mate. That's fair enough if people don't mind that much, but I mind. So, you've just lost yourself a customer with regards to the cereal. Anyway, this guy Craig, he's went into a shop like that and the the fucking, um, the cereal is about to run out of date. It's like, fuck. And he looks at this bread. Bread doesn't go out of date for another week. He's like, that's alright, that's pretty good for bread. It's very good for bread. So he goes up, takes the stuff to the counter, and he says, um, "In fact, let me start again. I was rambling, rambling on too much. Let me make this nice and short. Because let's say why I put this on YouTube. I'm going to make this a, a an absolute cracker, right? I'm going to make this an absolute cracker that I can um, stick on YouTube. All right, this story here is." Uh, based on the idea given to me, which was just stale bread. Let the story commence. There's this guy, Craig, and goes around to his local shop and he gets milk, he gets cereal, and he needs bread as well. He looks at the milk, the milk's, it goes at a, goes at a date that day. He looks at the cereal, or a box, he's just, they're just about to go out of date. And a month from now, even though boxes usually, boxes of cereal take about a year and a half to go out of date. Plus the lids are all, you know, the flaps at the top, you can see they're not properly stuck down, something not quite right. But he looks at the bread, the loaf of bread, and um, it does, it's about a week, it's got about a week left, doesn't, doesn't go out of date for about another week, which is pretty good. Pretty, pretty fucking good for bread, so he takes all three things up. Oh, fuck it. And he mentions to the shopkeeper, here, um, 
if your stuff's in you know, the milk, milk goes out of date the day. Just, I just got it. Just got it in time there. Kind of dropping hints. Shopkeeper just goes, all right, right. right. It's just that you know, normally the milk, like it's got about three days left, but it's, they're all gone out of date the day. All right, right. And by the way, the cereal, what's, what's up with the boxes? Oh, just sometimes they get a wee bit damaged, I hope you don't mind. Nah, not at all, not at all. But at least the bread's fine. And, he, and the guy says, oh, yeah, yeah. We'll always try to get you good bread. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. It's got about a week left in it. Yeah. A week left for bread? No, I do know, like, four days. What do you mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing. So Craig takes the bread and the cereal and the milk up the road. Opens the milk, sniffs it, borderline sewer. Borderline sewer. He goes to open a box of cereal, there it is, you know, it's not properly stuck down, he's like, what is this? Goes inside, squeezes the bag of cereal and then inside, Let's do it all there. They're up to something, you know, like the, like they swap it for one thing and then stick it down again. Something's not right, but at least the bread, man. The bread. The bread has got a whole week, so that'll be alright. So he opens the bread and he's like, oh, fuck it. He just knows it. He just knows it's going to happen. Yeah, he just knows it. He just knows it's going to happen. He opens the bread, the, um, you know, the packaging, whatever you call it, the bag. A bag of bread. What cereal was it? Doesn't really matter. Uh, somebody just asked what cereal it was. Doesn't really matter. He opens a bag of cereal, uh, the bag of uh, bread. And he's like, I bet you're going to fucking taste this, I bet. And he's looking inside, it's all fucking... Touches it, he takes it, one of the slices of bread. Bang, bang, bang. Taps it off the fucking edge of his, his table. Bang, bang, bang. Sounds like he's hitting like a ruler off, you know, a, a wooden ruler. Sounds like that, he's like... Tries the next bit of bread. Rock solid, it's like toast. He looks at it, just has a good look at it. Oh, there's bits of green there, a uh, fucking mouldy. He's like, right, right, right. Goes around to the shop and he goes, ah, here, mate, here, here. What's that? What's that there? Everything, everything, everything's out of date here, mate. Everything in the shop's out of date. What's the fucking scriptoid? What's the scriptoid? Well, what it is? But I just want to say one thing. At least the, st the milk says it's a fucking day. Gone out of date the day. The cereal, that's a wee bit, something's a wee bit fishy there, but I don't know what. But mate, it fucking says there. The bread, the, the bread, the breed isn't going to go out of date for about another week. And look at that. And look, here's another one. Look, look at that. It's rock solid, mate. What have you got to say for yourself? What's the, what's the script to you, mate? Shopkeeper goes like that to him. Do you want to know? Do you really want to know? Do you really want to know? Craig's like that. Aye, aye. How? What's going on? What do you mean? Shopkeeper's like that. Do you really want to know? What it's all about? With the milk. With the cereal. With the bread. Do you really want to know? Because I can take you in the back. Just run there. And tell you the secret behind it all. 
Craig's like that. Um, if you're just meaning what, what you're going to tell me, it, I, no, I know what it is, mate. You're just. I bet there's a, a place in, like the cash and carry or whatever, and it's a section for like damaged stuff or stuff to to go out a date. I know about that. I saw a program about it. If it's just that you're trying to make a bit more money because that stuff's cheaper, I, I get it, mate. I get it. I'm not in it, but I get it. The shopkeeper goes like that, like. That's not what it is. That's not what it is, mate. That's not what it is, my friend. One run the bank and I'll show you. One run the bank and I'll show you, man. Craig's like that. You're not going to try any funny business, are you? Shopkeepers, last look. <laughs> if I wanted to try any funny business, man. If I wanted to try any funny business, <laughs> you'd have known about it by now, mate. Right? Look in my eyes, mate. Look in my eyes, mate. You can see that I'm a real deal, mate. You can see that I'm a real deal. Craig's like that. Alright, we just... Put a So a bit just run here. Craigslist. Mate, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I'm no you know, I'm no I'm not like that, mate. If you don't get the wrong end of the stick. Shopkeepers like that. I'm not like that either, mate. What do you think I wanna Mate, if I was I could get a lot fucking better than you, mate. I could get a lot fucking better than you. If I was like that, mate. <laughs> no exactly fucking catch. No exactly fucking catch of the day, mate. You daft. Have you seen this state, you? Yeah? Look in that mirror there. There's a mirror. They've got a mirror. Turn. Look in that mirror, look. Craig turns, sees himself, he's fucking a mess, man. He's, he's let it go. Shopkeeper's like, mate, I wouldn't go anywhere near you if I was like that, which I'm no. Nothing against them, mate. Nothing against them, man. My brother-in-law's, my brother-in-law's like that, man. My uncle's like that, man. Pure decent, decent, decent people, man. Decent people. Decent people, man. I go in all the marches and everything, man. I go in all the marches, man. Don't worry about that. I go in all the marches, man, but I'm not like that myself. And if I was, <laughs> I wouldn't fucking go anywhere near you and come on. Come on. Shrink the bank. I want to show you my secret. <coughs> <coughs> so Craig goes. Alright. Alright then. The shopkeeper goes round the bank and turns the corner. He's like, what? Craig's like, where'd you go? He walks in. Run the bank. It's dark, so, so dark. 
It's so dark back there, man. You kind of get to see how fucking dark it is. Even though there's, there's this... He's, he's only just stepped in. It's, it's dark. You know how stuff is dark, but you can see a wee bit. It's fucking pitch black, man. And crazy like that. Mate. Mate. Are you there? Then he just hears this.
The milk represents your life. Your life will run out to taste. My fellow. Your life runs out to the human fellow. The milk represents your life force and runs out to the my fellow. But with regards to the bread, I have this to say. <laughs> <laughs> you will die before you find out the secret of the bread. You will die. And now I will strangle you. You just need a fucking bastard. Come on, you fucking bastard, man, you <laughs> fucking die, you bastard, man. Die, you fucking bastard, man. Die. Fucking die, you gun, man. Come on, you my fucking soul, man. You don't fucking like it, fucking go somewhere else. If you can help, you fucking help your money, fucking gun, man. Get this fuck, man. Get this fuck, let you go, man. Go, go, man, let you fucking go, man. Go. Fucking get my shop, man. Get my fucking shop, I'm letting you fucking go, man. I'm letting you fucking go, fucking go and tell every cunt, you know. I'm letting you go so you can fucking tell every cunt, no, you fuck this. You'll fucking take what you fucking gave, right? You'll take what you've been gave, right? you fucking take what you've been gave, you'll take your fucking cereal, you'll take your fucking breed. You take your fucking mouth and fucking ram up your fucking ass. See if you come in here, I better not fucking see you in here again, you fucking cunt. I better not fucking see you in here again, you know me fucking cunt, right? Do you hear me? Do you fucking hear me? I better not fucking see you in here again, you cunt. Alright? I better not. Tell me something, I better not fucking see you in here again, you cunt. Alright, man? Alright, man, but I'm not fucking seeing you in here again, you fucking cunt, man, right? I bet I'm not fucking seeing you in here again, you cunt, you'll be getting fucking slammed, you cunt. Get out of here, get out of here, get out get out of here, you cunt. Craig headed up the road and from that point on he just went to other shops that was that that was that the end <laughs>